Hey everyone, Ross here. Welcome back to the channel. Now guys, if you're joining me today for this video, you must also be a free-to-play player. Now guys, there's a lot of content creators going around right now, pushing Tara's Land as massively pay-to-win. You can pay for this, you can pay for that. Now, you can pay for things, don't get us wrong. But, what I've done is, I've done a bit digging around in the Chinese server, because, you know, it, it's translated English, I can read everything, and it's going to be pretty much, wait, exactly the same as the global release. Obviously, if you're going to buy things, it might be slightly different cost, yada, yada, yada. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, guys, is to hopefully teach you how you can exploit the wheels. Now, what I mean by wheels are people who live in their parents' basement or the work full-time, and they've got lots of disposable income to spend on the game. They've got lots of income that they don't use on anything else. You know what I mean? They don't have a family, they don't have kids, or or whatever circumstance they have, which means they've got endless amounts of money. People like people who spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or pounds on Diablo Mortal, them sort of players. Now, when they come to this game, they're going to assume that they're going to be able to pay to win, which is not the case whatsoever. There's only certain things you can buy for real money that will give you an advantage over other players. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can exploit this as a free-to-play player and make your own gold. How to wheel without spending any money. Now, there's two ways you can do this, okay? And it's to do with the professions. Now, currently, you can say I'm in the game and I'm collecting these little crystals on the floor. This is because I have the dual crafting... Um, profession. You can also do this with the alchemist one, but I'm going to focus on the jewel crafting one for this video's sake. Now, I mentioned this in Discord, people laughed at us, but I thought it would be best to explain it in video form. Now, <coughs> mostly what paid players are going to be buying off the trade center, if I go in here, is gems. Now, you can see tr1 ruby chest is 88 gold yellow is 99 blue is 107 <coughs> that's just for tr1 obviously nobody can make tr2 yet it's too early in the game now for instance let's say i want to make a tr1 ruby chest so if i go to crafting okay i'm just going to sit and make these for instance make my profession materials just to make sure i've got enough these are the Elementary yellow crystals. Okay, this is what I've just been farming. You then refine them into that. I've got plenty of value. I don't worry about that. Now, if I go to tier one gem, I can make a tier one ruby chest. But I need five of my elementary yellow crystals. I need two elementary dyes, one elementary linen, and one elementary copper ingot. Now, these three items are from the other three professions. Okay, so I can't actually get these myself unless I go to trade. So if you go to source on here. You go to Trade Center, you can take Elementary Die. How many do I need again? I need two Elementary Dies, right? So let's just top this up ourselves, okay? They are nine gold each. I want two. So that's 18. We'll buy them, okay? All right, go back. I need one of these. We're currently on 18 gold. This will cost me eight gold. So that's 26. Done. We'll go back to this one. Last one, Trade Center five gold so that's cost me 31 gold so far okay now go out here go to the mailbox claim the things i just bought okay now i go back into the craft menu i go to tr1 gem and i craft the tr1 gem okay that cost us 31 gold to make that because these were already mine so go out of there we'll go to trade and then we'll go to listing and select that i can now sell this for 97 okay now that is a profit of off the top of my head let's hang on 97 take away 31 be 96 66 gold i will make from that okay 66 gold i have just made when that sells now if i repeat this it's costing us 20 uh, 31 gold per time i do it every time go to craft again go to tier one gem so i want to make a two appears i'll have to buy that instead That'll cost us nine gold. So even even said that's going to be thirty two gold entirely. Make a sapphire one. I need two of them. Going to be more or less the same. So around about thirty gold. I'm going to be making just over sixty gold profit 
every time I sell one of these. Now I need five of these elementary crystals, okay? So to make five elementary crystals, let's go to crafting quickly. I need six citron particles. Now, depending on how often you get one. So, for instance, if I click this quickly before that other guy does. Quickly click. Uh, I missed it. Okay, right. Well, there's loads in this area. I'll just find a different one. So, I need five. So, let's go for this one. There's two. And I get three on that one. That's five altogether. But for instance, if I only get two on each one. I don't know why this guy's following me exactly. But yeah, so if I got two at least, or at least or three, it'll cost us 12 Viga to get enough to make one. Now, the Viga currently, as it stands, my Viga, I get one every 15 minutes. So every, I need 12 Viga, so 12 times 15 will be three hours. Every three hours, I can get enough materials to craft five of these elementary things okay i also need the proficiency to make it but every every three hours i can do that and do quite a few by looks of things and then all i need to do again is go back in a trade center buy these things and then trade wait for them to sell hasn't sold yet but i imagine it will eventually because like i say the paid players will buy the gems because that's why they're paying so my point is with this video guys very, very easy to do it. Now, if I just, out of uh, circumstance, if I actually find the correct character, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Let's swap characters here. If you know from the previous video, I did do all four professions on four different characters, so I knew which what to expect. Go to craft, pretty sure this is, this is forge. This is the wrong character. Uh, return character. Bear with us, guys. Bear with us. I'll find the right one eventually. I should have really wrote down which character I was which. Might be the rogue. I'm pretty sure that's not the the plaid because I'm pretty sure that's tailoring. So it must be this one. So I don't think I've got any gold on this character. That's the only unfortunate thing. So I can't really do it properly. But yeah, so this one's alchemy. So we want empowerment rune. Tier 1 empowerment rune. Okay. That I make myself if I had enough stuff for it. Obviously, I don't right now. Because I just put them all on for sale. Actually. Yeah. So they all sold. I've got some gold now. There we go. Let's see it's four gold. But it's four gold per one. So I should have quite a bit of gold. But. For example. I want to craft these. Again. Finished material. Is the. Solvent and the dye. So if I go to empowerment rune tier one. I only need six of these. Which will cost it me. Six of them will be six times eight, which is 48, 48. Okay, six times eight, 48. And then two of them will be 58 entirely. And then these, if I want to buy one of these, 257. So actually, I'll be making nearly a 200 gold profit on selling one of them. Same system I did with dual crafting. So as you can see, guys, I can't speak for late game. Obviously, if you go to crafting, empowerment rune, you've got tier 3, okay? Tier 3, you need these things from alchemists. Obviously, I could make that myself. That's from alchemists. I could make that myself. These things die. I'll be able to make that myself. The one thing I would have to make me uh, buy would be the advanced living craft. I can't obviously show you this right now because nobody can currently make any of these. So I can't search them on the trade center to see how much they would be. But you get the picture. You get the overall point of this video. It's relatively easy to wheel this game without spending a penny if you know how to craft correctly and sort of play the trade center now i didn't want to share this video with you guys i wanted to keep it to myself but i thought you know it's better for the community as a whole if i do share this method with you now hopefully it works the way it's intended right now obviously the chinese center has been out nearly a week now maybe it's a little bit less than a week but it's still as you can see very profitable to do it this way so hopefully if I go back on my other character right now and just quickly jump on back on my lion, hopefully it's sold. 
I'll just quickly swap back. Hopefully the item is sold. I don't know how fast it'll sell, but obviously you can just keep listing things. Keep making them, or make a stack of them, put the entire stack on at once, make a massive profit, you know what I mean? It hasn't sold yet, but I'd imagine it won't take very long, because like I see, a lot of people want these things. But you can see now, guys, that's going to be really easy to make a lot of gold as a free-to-play player. And that was the point of this, to make you aware of how to do it. Obviously it works best where alchemy or um alchemy or jewelry i don't know about the other two because they don't have the sort of stat boost and things as such but you get the picture anyway guys if you've enjoyed this video please like down below make sure you do subscribe to the channel and hopefully when the game comes global i can bring you more videos just like this to help free to play players because i'm a free to play player i'll be buying the battle pass that'll be pretty much it all i buy because i don't have the spare income i've got two kids myself you know what i mean i don't have spare income to to pile into a game anyway guys thanks so much for watching catch you in the next one see you then